Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to share you video regarding simple harmonic motion. Simple. Or we call as as it. Yeah. And later I will use this course book or uh, this workbook yeah from Cambridge International yes level physics uh, from David Seng and Graham Jones yeah. maybe if I see a uh, pitch box, uh, oscillation is on the 151 151 151 oh this one yeah mm, that's about frequency period energy velocity and so on and so on okay later we will try uh, some of this question with yourself here yeah. okay now back again about simple harmonic motion okay when we have like a pendulum yeah pendulum let's say like this one pendulum this is pendulum and we swing it uh, like that one and let's say this is position A, position B, position C. So one period. Period is T, yeah. One period. Uh, this is same thing uh, when we start from A to B to C to B again and to A. Yeah. This is one period. How much time, how much second uh, they have swing until go to the uh, initial position <coughs> and then we can find about frequency frequencies is one over period yeah or one over t yeah oh, that's it okay let me check one by one about uh, uh, equation of um, this placement yeah velocity and then acceleration okay when we see this here let's say this is x this is x and this is amplitude yeah Ma maximum x same thing with maximum amplitude yeah. so this is angle yeah. angle swing so between theta x and a they have relationship as the sine yeah sine theta equals to x divided a so x equals to a sine theta then theta we have theta equals to omega t yeah. uh, so x equals to sometimes we also uh, change a as a x o yeah yeah let's take it uh, we use a yeah. sin omega t yeah okay this is about displacement X is displacement in meter and then A is amplitude in meter Omega is angular speed angular velocity in radian per second yeah. and then T is time yeah. in second
Okay, this is about displacement. Uh, then, the second one is about velocity or speed. Uh, we use a formula that velocity v. Yeah, this is the uh, differential of y. divided by dt dy over dt differential y of uh, variable time so we can uh, derive or differential differentiate this yeah. this is same thing with a and then difference sign is cos omega t and then times differentiate omega t is omega so then we can bring back omega yeah. oh my God. bring back omega to here so v equals to a omega cos omega t so. uh, sometimes uh, we meet uh, question about maximum velocity maximum velocity yeah is when cos omega t equals to 1 yeah so yeah same thing with a omega times 1 yeah so v max is a omega Okay, I repeat again, velocity is differentiate of position, yeah. x or dy dt or dx per dt. A constant, and then differentiate of sine equals to cos omega t, and then omega t, we differentiate omega. So, v equals to o, a omega cos omega t. And then, they have a maximum value when the cos omega t equals to 1. So V max equals to A omega. That's it. Then one more about uh, acceleration. Yeah. Acceleration is differentiate of velocity. Yeah. A means dv per dt, yeah. Or we have v a uh, omega cos omega t, so uh, we have v yeah. v equals to a uh, omega cos omega t, yeah. So differentiate of this same thing with a omega as the constant, yeah. And then uh, differentiate of cos is minus sine omega t yeah. and then uh, omega t we differentiate become omega so uh, this is same thing with negative a omega square sine omega t okay since you know x or y yeah let's say x is a sine omega t yeah so we can change a sine omega t as the x yeah or y so acceleration something negative omega square x sorry x yeah ah, that's it yeah, where x is a sine omega t yeah that's it Okay, done. Yeah. Okay, let me check question. Yeah. Uh, 151. Mm, yeah. I want to see about the equation as high.
How about this one? Number three. Number three. Hopefully you can see it here. Number three. The displacement of an oscillating mass can be represented by equation of the form x equals to x o sine omega t. Oh. They use symbol x x o sine omega t. Yeah. Where x o is amplitude of the motion, they can also as x o sine or x x o sine omega is 2 pi f yeah then times t yeah same thing by comparing a specific equation to the standard equation you can deduce the great deal of information about the motion of oscillating mass the displacement in millimeter of an uh, oscillating mass given by x equals to 25 sine 40 pi t okay they have x equals to 25 sine 40 pi t okay. then It may help you to write down the equation with the standard equation below for case the comparison. State the amplitude of oscillation. This is in millimeter. Yeah. So, yeah, we can say amplitude is 25. Yeah, this one. Yeah, in millimeter. Then, so the frequency is 20 hertz. Frequency is from here. Yeah. Uh, we have 40 pi t this is equal to 2 pi f t yeah. so frequency same thing with, we can cancel t yeah. and then 40 40 divided 2 equals to 12, 20 hertz that's it calculate the period of oscillation uh, the period of oscillation yeah, here yeah, is 1 over frequency 1 divided 20 same thing with one uh, 0 0.05 yeah. 0 0.05 second or same thing with 50 millisecond The maximum velocity of moving mass is given by V O omega X O. Calculate the quantity. State its unit. Okay, this is C. Yeah. D is uh, V O omega X O. Omega, same thing with this one. Yeah. Uh, 40 pi. Yeah, because sin omega t yeah. so this is same thing with 40 pi and then xo is amplitude 25 yeah. times 25 this is in millimeter yeah. 4 times 25 is 100 100 times 10 equals to 1000 pi yeah. in centimeter millimeter per second because the unit in this millimeter yeah. That's it. calculate the maximum acceleration of mass acceleration maximum okay we have acceleration a means omega square a sine omega t yeah. 
so we can say this is become 1 when a on the maximum 1 negative omega we have omega is 40 pi yeah. then square amplitude is 25 millimeter yeah. times 1 yeah. so this is become wait yeah calculator first okay after we calculate this is about 364.4 this is already in meter per second square Yes, because this is still in millimeter, yeah. 25 is still in millimeter. So after we calculate, we get uh, something number and then we change into meter. Yeah, this is something 394.4 millimeter meter per second square. Okay, that's it. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. I will continue later. Uh, maybe in different question or in different uh, topic thank you very much bye